case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 2008 maurice hollow horn a native american man was embroiled in a controversy that would test the limits of the admissibility of evidence in sexual assault cases this took center stage in the u.s court of appeals for the eighth circuit following his conviction on charges of sexual abuse against two girls both under the age of 12. The backdrop of the case unfolded during a birthday party for Hollowhorn's daughter, which later turned into a sleepover in a tent located nearby. Within that backdrop, the alleged sexual abuse occurred. Despite Hollowhorn's steadfast denial, the court found him guilty, resulting in a sentence term of 34 months behind bars. Exhibiting tenacity, Hollowhorn challenged the court's decision, requesting a new trial. Key to Hollowhorn's appeal was the admissibility of a testimony from the mother of one of the victims who alleged her own rape by Hollowhorn. The court considered this prior sexual misconduct under Federal Rule of Evidence 413, a asserting that the testimony bolsters the case, showing Hollowhorn's pattern of committing sexual assaults when undetected. However, the court found no favor in Hollowhorn's pleas. It upheld his conviction, dismissing his motion for a new trial due to insufficient new evidence. The court buttressed its decision with the victim's testimony, which provided substantial evidence to back the conviction for abusive sexual contact. Hollowhorn's appeal found no traction within the judiciary, a testament to the weight of evidence and its relevance to the charges against him. His case served as a forewarning on the propensity of sexual misconduct evidence in sexual assault cases. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.